It's a wild, wacky world of couples out there, and fans love to pair and match their favorites, some in pairings that others find absolutely baffling. However, there have been some crazy canon pairings out there that many people don't even know about. Yes, these couples are true pairings. So let's go back in time for this couple, to the 60s, at least at first, when cartoons loved to repeat their backgrounds. Scooby-Doo was a ratings success during its first run from 1969 to 1975, and this group of meddling kids crossed over with a lot of other popular cartoons of the day and continues to enjoy success to this day with new and updated incarnations. During the 90s, these teens met up with then-newcomer Johnny Bravo, a hyper-macho, clueless beefcake whose sole quest in life was to get a girlfriend. And he found one in Velma Dinkley. That's right, bookish Velma Dinkley, full of facts and the oversexed, Elvis sounding, pompadour sporting Johnny Bravo. The episode where they first met features Johnny's car breaking down and him hitching a ride in the mystery machine, where he falls in love with Daphne while Velma falls in love with him. But Daphne rejects him because, well, he's Johnny Bravo, and Velma thinks it's her chance when a ghost bursts in and ruins everything. The ghost is ultimately revealed to be Johnny's aunt, who says she was trying to scare him off because he's an embarrassment to the family. And, well, the gang ends up agreeing with her and leaves them both tied to a tree. How romantic. However, since then, the Cartoon Network has stood firmly behind this pairing. Ultimately, though, Velma rejects Johnny even after their affection becomes more mutual because she has mysteries to solve. As far as pairings go, it kind of makes sense, at least on the Johnny end. He wants a stable girlfriend who adores him. As for what Velma sees in Johnny, though, mm, must be the muscles. The first crossover aired in 1997 and was called Bravo Dooby Doo, and I for one would love to see a more modern crossover between these two. Not that Johnny plays all that great to every modern audience. So that was one true pairing that actually exists in canon, but it is rare. People get on that fiction. We need to know why everyone's favorite bookworm fell for a man wearing a black t-shirt at least two sizes too small. Who's your favorite Scooby-Doo pairing? Let us know, and did you know about this pairing? Come on, admit it if you did. Let us know down there in the comments below. Until next time, when we explore more true pairings.